Fixing a video that's too dark or too bright is pretty easy if you catch it while you're shooting. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to change the exposure of your video while you're shooting it and which settings you should adjust to make it better. Before digital cameras, you know, back on film cameras, you had to use an actual light meter in your hand to read the lighting in the environment you were in, look at the numbers, and set your camera accordingly. Now, built into digital cameras is a light meter. So, before you hit record, look on the back of your camera on the LCD at the bottom of the screen. There, you'll see the camera's light meter. If the meter's in the middle, your camera thinks it is properly exposed. Too far to the right, and your image is overexposed. Too far to the left, and it's underexposed. Now, I go into more detail on aperture, shutter speed, and ISO in my free guide, Understanding the Exposure Triangle, which you can get for free at DIYvideoguide.com slash exposure. But just know for now, to change exposure, you're probably gonna be wanna be changing the aperture or the ISO. Changing aperture, which will change the depth of field that you have or how much is in focus, can be a quick way to dial in exposure. But let's say you've already picked your aperture, maybe F.4, you already know how much you want in focus, the only other way, besides messing with shutter speeds and frame rates, is to change the ISO. So if you change the ISO up, your image will become more exposed. There'll be more light in the image. If you change your ISO down, the image will get darker. It'll become less exposed. Move the aperture up or down, or move the ISO up or down until you get to the correct exposure level based on the light meter on your camera. Right in the middle, around zero, is the perfect spot. Next, there's an even better way to judge exposure in your camera, and that's using a histogram or a waveform monitor. Now, if you have a photography background, you might be familiar with a histogram, but let me give a brief overview of what that is right now. A histogram summarizes brightness values for an entire image, basically luminance on a scale of zero to 256 horizontally from the darkness on the left side to lightness on the right. It then shows how much of that image has luminance vertically. So if a lot of the image is really bright, you'll see a lot of the graph to the right. If a lot of the image is very dark, you'll see a lot of the graph to the very left. This can then be viewed in individual red, green, and blue channels. An even better graph than a histogram to actually check your video exposure, if your camera has one, is a waveform monitor. It checks the luminance throughout the image from the left to right, as opposed to the overall image. You can pull up one of these on your camera in video mode by pressing a display or info buttons. Then with either the histogram or the waveform monitor open, change the aperture and ISO until the graph is with the majority in the middle and not clipped off on either of the ends on the histogram or at the top or bottom on the waveform monitor. So that's it for this video. In next week's video, I'll be showing you how to fix exposure in editing using iMovie, Adobe Premiere Pro, or Final Cut Pro 10. Thanks for watching episode five of DIY Video Guy TV. Remember you can subscribe over on YouTube or in iTunes. And until next time, remember if you're gonna do it, might as well do it on video.